Hello everyone, welcome to STEC. My name is Senthil. In this video, I'm going to do the Pixel 7 charger speed test. So let's get into this video. Okay, I have four charging adapters for testing today. This is the 15 watt Samsung adapter and then this one is the 18 watt Google adapter and this one is a 25 watt Samsung adapter and then this one is a 30 watt Google adapter. Okay, now these two on my left, the 15 watt and 18 watt came with the old device that I uh, purchased in past years. So for example, this one came with the Samsung tablet and then this one came with the uh, old Pixel phones. So for example, if you have got Pixel 3, Pixel 4 or any Pixels uh, up until the 5A series, Google used to supply this uh, 18 watt charging block with those phones. Okay. Now uh, these two are the ones that I purchased. So this is the uh, Samsung's 25 watt adapter and uh, this is P PPS capable. And then same with this one, this is a Google's uh, 30 watt adapter, which is also PPS capable. Okay. Now, uh, before we look at each of the charges, I just wanted to discuss about the phone because the Pixel 7 series did not come with the charging block and that's why this test is really uh, important. So if you're wondering, okay, if you already got a 15 or 18 watt, do you really need a 25 watt, a 25 watt or um, 30 watt uh, new charger? right? Do you really need it? Is it worth it? Right? So watch this video till the end. This will answer those questions. And if you're also wondering what charger to get, let's say you don't have any charger charging adapter at all at home and you, which one you want to get it, right? So all those questions will be answered in this video during the charging comparison. Now for the Pixel 7, it has a 4,355 milliamp uh, battery size and um, it can charge up to 25 watt uh, at, at a max speed. So each of these is going to give different results. Now, because this is rated for 25 or 21 watt uh, max speed, probably both of these chargers can uh, give uh, same results. So let's see in the side by side charging test that we are, I'm going to conduct. And then let's look at each of the charging blocks now uh, before going into the charging test or uh, about the output parameters because the output wattage, uh, what is this rated for is very important on the result. So let's look at the 15 watt charger. So these are the uh, different outputs that it can give. Either it can charge at um, uh, 10 watt at max or 15 watt at max, right? So it has two different um, uh, volt and amp output. So similar to that, now this one is a little bit tricky to see here, but I'll just put it on the screen. Same thing, similar to the 15 watt, this one can charge at 15 or the 18 watt uh, at a time, right? So this is not um, 10, but this is rated for 15 or 18 watt uh, charging speed. Now let's look at this one. This one is PPS capable, the 25 watt charger. And uh, this can go up to 25 watt, of course, but it can do either 15 or 25 watt at power delivery. And then if PPS capable, which uh, the phone is PPS capable, and it can do uh, either 9 to 17 or 7.5 to 25 watt, right? Same way, uh, the Google's um, 30 watt charger, you can see here, uh, same thing, power delivery can do up to 30 watt um, and then the lower uh, wattage is 15 or 21 watt uh, it can give output and then for PPS it can go up to 30 watt at a time, okay. So these are the four charging uh, blocks that we, we are going to test with the Pixel 7. Before I do side by side charging test, I want to plug each one of these chargers with the phone and see what's the message that it gives whether it shows uh, charging rapidly or charging slowly or just charging. Let's look at each one of these and see what the message it gives. Okay, first the 15 watt uh, charging block and let's see. Okay, what does the message gives here? Okay, it says, it just says uh, charging and uh, full charge from, okay, full charge from 71% is in 53 minutes, okay? So let's look at the 18 watt charger now. 
okay now I am plugging in the 18 watt charger so let's look at this now and see what does it show as output okay now it says uh, 46 minutes to do the um, full charge and it's it's it says uh, charging rapidly as well um, okay so now let's look at the 25 watt okay here's the 25 watt and it says as well uh, same time as 18 watt so charging rapidly as well okay now the the timing could be same because it's at 71 percent but if you do from maybe like uh, 5 or 10 percent the output might uh, be different so let's look at the 30 watt what does it say okay now the 30 watt charger same thing as well same time as well so both uh, the 18 watt uh, 25 watt and 30 watt at 71 percent it says it estimates the same uh, charging time but that is because maybe like it's at 71 percent it can only do you know uh, same speed as each one of these can do only maybe at 15 watt or 18 watt at max so that's why it's giving you know uh, same time okay now let's do the side by side charging test now let's go for the side by side charging test so if you have watched so far this video i uh, really appreciate a like and subscribe that way i can give quality contents like this and uh, it really encourages me to do more videos like this okay let's get go for the side by side charging test now okay i started all four charging at zero percent when phone turned off itself i'm going to check every five minutes how much uh, each uh, charging adapter charges the phone so every five minutes is going to be a, a check and then i will also show the chart at the end so at five minutes mark the 30 watt at, at 10 percent and 25 watt charger at 11 percent 18 watt charger at 8 percent and 15 watt charger at uh, 4 percent so now 30 watt and 25 watt uh, is going neck to neck of course because of you know uh, the phone can charge up to you know only 25 watt max now at 10 percent mark 30 watt is at 18 25 watt is 18 18 watt is 15 and then 15 watt charger at 7 percent which is the slowest one okay now at 15 minutes mark uh, both the uh, 30 watt charger and 25 watt charger at 26 percent and 18 watt charger at 22 percent and 15 watt charger at 10 percent which is again the slowest so this is going to continue throughout the uh, comparison now at 20 minutes mark which is a good uh, quick charge uh, time at 20 minutes mark both 30 watt and 25 watt charger at 34 percent and 18 watt charger at 29 percent and 15 watt charger at 13 percent okay now at uh, 15 minutes uh, 25 minutes mark uh, both the uh, no now the 25 watt is showing 42 percent and 30 watt charger at uh, 41 percent and 18 watt charger at 36 percent and 15 watt at 17 percent now at 30 minutes mark both 25 watt and 30, uh, 25 watt and 30 watt charger both at 49 percent and 18 watt at 43 percent and 15 watt charger at uh, 20 percent okay now at 35 minutes mark again uh, both the 30 watt charger and 25 watt charger going neck to neck at 57 percent and 18 watt charge uh, charger at 49 percent 15 watt charger at 23 percent uh, and then at 40 minutes mark uh, same thing again now the 25 watt charger is one person up 64 percent 30 watt charger at 63 percent 18 watt charger at 57 percent 15 watt charger at 26 percent okay now at 45 minutes mark both again the 30 watt and 25 watt uh, coming back to the same charging percentage which is 69 percent 18 watt at 62 percent and 15 watt at 29 percent okay now at uh, 50 minutes mark uh, the uh, both the 34 uh, sorry 30 watt and 25 watt charger at 74 percent 18 watt charger at 68 percent and 15 watt charger at 32 percent okay now at 55 minutes mark same thing again both 30 watt and 25 watt charger at uh, 79 percent and 18 watt charger at 74 percent and 15 watt charger at 35 percent now the 18 watt charger seems to be catching up to the 30 watt and 25 watt charger so let's see now again at one hour mark which is 60 minutes uh, 30 watt and 25 watt at 83 percent and 18 watt at 79 percent and 15 watt charger at 38 percent 
Now 65 minutes mark, uh, 30 watt and 25 watt at 87 percent, 18 watt charger at 83 percent and 15 watt charger at 42 percent. Okay, now at uh, 70 minutes mark, uh, okay, now there is a difference between 30 watt and 21 watt just by 1 percent, uh, 90 and 91 and then 18 watt at 87 percent, 15 watt at 45 percent. So now at 75 minutes mark, the both again 30 watt and 25 watt came to same 93 percent, 18 watt at 91 percent, 15 watt at 41 percent. Now the 18 watt is really catching up to the uh, 30 and 25 watt chargers. Okay, now at 80 minutes mark, uh, 30 and 25 watt charger at 95 percent, 18 watt at 93 percent, and 15 watt at 51 percent. Okay, now at 80, 85 minutes mark, uh, 30 watt at 97, 25 watt at 97, 18 watt at 95 and 15 watt at 54 percent, okay, which is slowest. Now as you can see all three charges are almost getting complete but the 15 watt charger is almost only like 60 percent. Now at um, 90 minutes mark, uh, both the 30 watt and 25 watt at 98 percent, 18 watt at 97 percent and 15 watt at 57 percent. At this point I was checking frequently. Now at uh, 1 hour and 35 minutes mark which is 95 minutes, both the uh, 30 watt and 25 watt is completed, then the 18 watt at a 98 percent and 15 watt at 60 uh, percent. Okay, now at 1 hour 40 minutes mark, which is 100 minutes, uh, 18 watt also completed 100 percent and 15 watt is at 63 percent. Okay, now I am going to fast forward so quickly because 15 watt is slow, uh, very slow and it was like charging at the speed of like 3 percent uh, every 5 minutes. So I am just going to fast forward as you can see here. Here you have it. So at 174 minutes, which is 2 hours and 53 minutes mark, uh, the 15 watt is also completed. Okay, now let's look at the uh, chart of all the charging speed with the four charging adapter for Pixel 7 that I tested. Now the 15 watt charger is the slowest one as you can see here. It's going like every five minutes, only like uh, two or three percent, mostly three percent. Uh, consistently up until 80 or 95 percent and then it's slowing down further uh, up until the 100 percent. Now this is the different result from uh, what I saw with the S22 Ultra when I tested the same 15 watt charging block. So uh, this is uh, maybe it depends on the output uh, that the Pixel 7 cannot work with this 15 watt charger. So that is maybe uh, that is the reason maybe the 15 watt charging block is the slowest one uh, but definitely it was not this slow with S22 Ultra the same charging adapter. Now let's look at the uh, 18 watt and 25 watt and 30 watt charging speeds right. Now the, uh, the 25 and 30 watt is going neck to neck the blue and the yellow line you can see here up until almost 100 percent it's always going neck to neck except in few uh, places where it was little bit one percent different like for example here and also here um, but other than that it's neck to neck it's primarily because the phone can only take up to 21 percent max charging speed okay so it really has no difference uh, uh, other than like uh, this being the one of them being the samsung charger and then other than being the uh, Google's charger but the Google's charger is rated for 30 watt but the Samsung charger is rated at 25 watt. Now let's look at the 18 watt. This is the interesting one because the 18 watt is almost keeping up with the 25 watt and uh, the 30 watt charger. Uh, finally it was all catching up and finally finished just like uh, 5 minutes after the 25 watt and the 30 watt uh, charges right this is mainly because uh, the phone can take only up to 21 watt so the 18 watt is going for the max charge all the time 18 watt 
and uh, it's resulting in uh, charging uh, uh, it's resulting in quicker charging speed okay here is my conclusion so if you got 18 watt charger at home coming from pixel 3 or pixel 4 or any older pixel up until 5a series this is the best charger that you already got for pixel 7 you really don't need a new charging uh, charging uh, charging adapter like 25 watt or 30 watt you really don't need any one of them if you already have a 18 watt charger because the difference is very very minimal uh, of course maybe in future when google with the pixel 8 or 9 series if it comes and says uh, 30 watt max charging speed or 35 watt or 45 watt it comes up with i don't know if it's going to happen or not but at this point of time this 18 watt charger that you already probably have at home from the old pixel is the best charger for pixel 7 okay now if you are going to buy one if you need to buy one let's say you don't have a old pixel you are not coming from a old pixel and if you really want to buy one then i would really recommend going for the google's 30 watt charger the only reason i am recommending google's 30 watt charger is like how the 15 watt charger is working differently with pixel 7 maybe in future also google will make sure only their charging adapters work better with the the pixel devices right so if you want to future proof this and if you are going to buy one anyway go for the google's 30 watt charger because this is also uh, pps capable and it has different output um, uh, wattages so i would definitely recommend going for google's 30 watt charger because uh, google might do a better support with this charging adapter for their pixel devices in future okay so that's all for this video today if you really like this video please like share and subscribe for more contents like this thank you for watching have a good day